What's going on guys, Anthony from Chronometer Check here, and today we're going to be discussing a set of watches that I'm sure pretty much everyone watching this video has probably heard of. They are the Seiko 5. Now the Seiko 5 were made to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Seiko, but they went on to become sort of just an amazing line of watches in their own right for their own reasons. So they're extremely robust. You know, they have a 7S26 Seiko in-house movement that is known to go on for years and years without a service. They're, you know, super reliable. You can do whatever with them. Uh, they are pretty affordable. Most of them are under $100, and most of them look pretty good. There are some models that are kind of questionable, but for the most part, most of them do look pretty good. So Hodinkee, one of the most popular uh, watch publications, made an article a couple of years ago saying that one particular Seiko 5, the SNKL23, was a $75 watch that looked like a million bucks. And since then, the prices have kind of skyrocketed. But what people don't know is there are other Seiko 5 watches that also look like a million bucks. And with that said, today we're going to be discussing six of them. So let's get into it. First things first, quick little wrist check. Uh, today I'm rocking my Seiko 5 SNX S79. K and this is actually literally the first mechanical watch I ever bought for myself. Such a good value. It looks way more expensive than it really costs, I think. I have it on an upgraded bracelet from AliExpress. It was like 15, 16 bucks, which uh, is an upgrade over the stock bracelet because the stock bracelet is pretty terrible. So it's not hard to beat when you do upgrade it. And this is actually number one on my list. Just quick disclaimer, these are not all of the good Seiko 5 watches that look more expensive, but these are just six that I happen to pick and maybe I'll do a part two or in the future. The SNX S79 has an extremely luxurious and rich looking sunburst charcoal bezel that really kind of changes and looks different depending on the lighting situation that you put it in. It could look kind of really, really sort of a dark, dark, deep gray, or just a lighter silvery. Now it is a very simple looking watch. It has an all polished case and combine that with the stick hands and the applied hour markers. It creates a very simple and clean face, which really allows that dial to kind of pop and shine through. And that's kind of the awesome thing about this watch in particular. The dial is just phenomenal. Um, the all polished case, maybe, you know, a plus or a minus for some, depending on how you feel. There's absolutely no brush surfaces except for on the bracelet, which is why I decided to replace it because I thought the all polished case and the all brushed bracelet kind of looked a little bit off, but that was just my taste. It, it's a fine bracelet. It's not the best quality by any means, but as far as aesthetics go, it was okay. Uh, it just wasn't my cup of tea. But anyway, yeah, I think if you could get it for under $100, it's a pretty good steal, and I think it's definitely worth it. Number two, I wouldn't be able to have this video without mentioning it, just to mention it. The SNKL23, this is the watch that Hodinkee dubbed the $75 watch that looks like a million bucks. Of course, it does look amazing, but since then, the prices have been jacked up, so they're a lot harder to find they have become more expensive but of course it does look amazing what is so nice about this watch first of all of course like most of the watches in this list they have smaller classic dimensions but SNKL 23 in particular has a very subtle kind of design pattern on the dial so it's a black dial but it has a subtle pinstripe design which kind of sets it off and creates almost like a tuxedo-esque appearance and just makes it very very classy and the Dauphine hands which again are kind of sort of a more dressy style so this is definitely a watch that leans sort of toward dressy but of course you can kind of dress it down on a NATO or just a more casual strap there's really no strap that this watch doesn't look good on I honestly I challenge you to pick any strap and I guarantee that if there's any watch that it would look good on then it would also look good on this watch. So number three on the list is sort of an overlooked version of the previously mentioned SNKL 23. This is the SNKL 15, which is basically the same exact watch as the SNKL 23, except with a more silvery dial instead of the black dial we see in the SNKL 23. Because it has the exact same sizing and the same dimensions and all the same characteristics, even that little pinstripe design, it's basically the same watch, just a different dial color. And it because it, you know, Hodinkee didn't blow up this watch, the price is actually still pretty reasonable and you can usually find them around the $100 mark, if not less. So I just think it makes a great alternative. If you're looking for the SNKL 23, 
Here you go, try the 15 instead. Number four on the list, we have the SNX111. This is a model that I believe has been discontinued, so good luck getting your hands on this, but it's just one I wanted to mention because maybe you could get it secondhand or something. You scour the you know the forums like Watch You Seek and Reddit, Watch Exchange and things like that. But I think it's a really, really subtly done and very nice design. It's honestly one of the most simple Seiko 5s ever. It's just a sort of silvery white, luxurious looking face. Uh, but it, again, it does have sort of a very slight sunburst pattern that kind of changes the way it looks depending on the lighting. And that of course kind of adds some dynamic interest to the watch and makes it a little bit more interesting to look at and a little bit more expensive. It does have an all polished case. It's a similar to the SNX S case. Not sure if it's exactly the same, but the finish is very, very, very similar. Except one thing that this watch has different compared to the other ones, it actually has the crown at the three o'clock position. Now, some people may prefer the crown at the four o'clock position like some of the other Seiko 5 models, but the, you know, this one's a little bit more standard, but of course the crown on this model too is just a little bit smaller compared to other watches. So it's still gonna be just as comfortable to wear on your wrist. You're barely gonna notice the crown there anyway. It's sort of a little bit of a design um, aesthetic difference at this point because they're both equally as comfortable to be honest and yeah again another watch that you could throw pretty much any strap on it's gonna look great if you throw it on like a black alligator strap it's gonna look super dressy and kind of classy and you could dress it up or you could just throw it on a NATO for a casual day and maybe it's not gonna be perfect on a NATO but it will definitely suffice number five did i say five already is this number five b are we doing five twice i don't know i'm losing my train of thought anyway number five we have the snkl 45 this is a watch that i think looks amazing it was one of the seiko fives that i definitely contemplated when i was first getting into watches a couple of years ago and i kind of regret not picking one up because now they're creeping up to like the 140 dollar price mark because they are so beautiful so it has a black dial that's kind of in a sunburst black so it actually kind of looks super dynamic and honestly in some lighting like very bright lighting conditions it actually almost looks like a like a rich rich chocolatey brown so it's very interesting dial uh, it has dolphin hands very very simple clean applied hour embassies and another thing that kind of sets this watch apart is the second hand as i'm sure you've noticed it is a red second hand which adds a little bit of sportiness to the watch whereas some of the other seiko pies may lean a little bit dressy this one is still a relatively dressy watch, and of course, no one's gonna notice the red second hand if you throw it on like a alligator strap and wear it with a suit. No one's gonna say, hey, is that a red second hand? That can't be a dress watch. Yeah, but it, it would still work just as well with a NATO because of that red second hand, which kind of dresses it down a little bit in that scenario. So yeah, I think it's a very interesting design and looks great, and check it out. Last but not least, we have yet again another variation of the previous watch. This is the SNKL41. This is the white version of the SNKL45 we just talked about. Again, this time we have two very subtle differences, one being the dial color, which on this is a very milky, silvery white. It, it does look mostly white, but you can, it does have such a subtle sunburst that it can almost appear sort of a milky silver in some lighting conditions. Now, of course, this watch again is a strap monster. You can put on literally anything. Um, but the one difference about this watch compared to the SNKL45 is this watch actually has a silver second hand instead of a red second hand. So it's a little bit more dressy than the previously mentioned watch. So there you have it guys. It's super hard to go wrong with honestly any of these, ch these choices or really any Seiko 5 model in particular. You're with pretty much any of these watches, you know, you're getting Seiko reliability, you're getting decent specs for the price, you're getting a watch that depending on which one you get, there are a couple of questionably designed ones, but most of them look pretty good and it's hard to go wrong. And considering the affordability and, you know, they're a great entry level piece for almost anybody. If somebody, say for my family or one of my best friends is coming to me asking for a watch to get into mechanical watches, I would honestly recommend them this video and say, hey, check out one of these. Maybe you like one of these. These are some of the Seiko Pies that I think look the best and check them out. If not, you know, we could do, we could do a deeper Seiko 5 dive and check out some more Seiko 5 models. But anyway, that's about it, guys. I might do a part two in the future just because there are so many Seiko 5 models. But with that said, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for more watch videos in the future. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.